So yeah, I'm outside of the guy's apartment now. Okay, what are you doing again? The Craigslist ad said something like, looking for someone to accompany Eddie as he exits the stratosphere. Yeah, I don't know. Seriously? I'm serious. Something about aliens coming to take him away? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. It's a gig. Your big gig. I mean, he said he's gonna pay me 200 bucks. So I guess there's that. Alrighty, have fun. Jeremy? Uh, yeah. Just in time. Eddie Jacobson, my name. Jeremy. Say, can I get you anything? Uh, you can float? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, just the water, maybe? Oh, no, oh, bad news, I'm afraid. They shut the water pipes off last week. I can whip you up the float, though. No, uh, I'm all good. All right, all right. No float. Come on in. Don't worry about your shoes. Oh, hey, hey, get a hold of this. That's my research. All okay, facts. I think we're good. What was that? Did you think I looked like a ghost? Kind of. Huh. Yeah, I'm just bugging you. Okay, should we get this thing rolling? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, how about you start by just telling me a little bit about yourself? Okay, well, uh, my name is Eddie Jacobson, and I'm... 58 years old, and I was born and raised in Pasadena, California. And tonight is the night that aliens are coming to get me. And you are going to get it all on videotape. I was first contacted by extraterrestrials, what you may know as ETs, after a long night of partying back in and around and through the 70s. <laughs> Yo, I know what you're thinking. Oh, this is just the leftovers of some old man's crazy acid trip. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I might think the same thing too. Uh, if the dreams had stopped back then. But, oh, no way, no how, mon frere. I've been having them ever since. I, I, you know, I get them at least once a week, ever since they first started. See, there's this, this bright green light that envelops everything, just like a, a tortilla envelops the inner workings of a burrito, you know? Yeah, and then I get whoosh, taken up into this beautiful mothership. And as I start to regain my sensual awareness, I realize that I'm surrounded by these beings. And every single time, without fault, I get this deep, deep feeling that these little green guys just want to be friends. Ain't that just the goddamn coolest thing you ever heard? <laughs> I don't know why or how they chose me, but oh, when I finally get a chance to meet them, I'm going to ask. Take this, man. This is really cool. Ah. Okay. Almost got it. Oh, this damn thing. God. I haven't worn this since Crazy Mike's sorry ass went to court over that whole motorcycle shit show. Uh, thought I'd get a bit gussied up for the big day. Hey, Jeremy, come give me a hand, would you? Oh. Yeah. Uh, 
And just stick this on there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bet you didn't think you'd be doing this when you woke up this morning. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh. David Dukakis got nothing on old lady. Hey, what's that famous line from the X-Files? Oh, yeah. The truth is up there. David Duchovny. Yeah, right friggin' on. The truth is up there, man. It's, uh, David Duchovny. Hey, uh, Eddie, uh, just curious, since you're literally leaving your whole apartment behind, uh, I was just wondering how you're planning on paying me for the video. Like, my asthma medicine's pretty expensive, and yeah, I mean, oh, that's my car right there. But yeah, I mean, it's not a big deal or anything. Oh, no, I get it, man. I get it. No worries. No worries at all. I'll get you the money. It's all kosher, brother. It's all kosher. Hey, hey, peace lady. So, what are you gonna do with all your stuff, like your apartment and everything? Oh, oh, I've got arrangements. Everybody's gonna get little bits and pieces here and there. Most of it's going to Claude. Giovanni took the Beamer. Stefania wanted it, but I sure as shit wasn't gonna give it to her, was I? Okay, uh, and how do you know that today's the right day and where we're going to is the right spot? Oh, they told me, man. Yeah. Well, it, it was cryptic, though. They must have loved riddles, those little troublemakers. <laughs> oh, hey, the coordinates for Owl Ridge. Oh. And the date, 6 16 19. June 16, 2019. Today's date. That's pretty crazy stuff, Eddie. <laughs> Ain't it though? Hey, 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 don't, oh. don't touch the camera, man. Ain't it just crazy stuff? Geez, Jeremy, I hope you didn't forget the Jiffy Pop. Say, what are you shooting on anyway? Is this one of them Panavisions, like they shot Close Encounters on? La 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 What about you, Mr. Director? Yeah? You got any stories of your own to tell? Um, not really. Well, I'm out here to get abducted by aliens, obviously. And to see God. What about you, compadre? I'm here for the money, I guess. <laughs> we both know that ain't true. Well, it is, but I don't know. I, I can't think of anything. Nope. you do yeah I can see it I can see it okay let me guess it's about a relationship ain't it yeah it's always about a relationship no I mean well maybe ah bingo see I knew it all right come on get it off your chest kid well I mean since we're being personal and even though this doesn't matter whatsoever, me and my girlfriend are, I don't know, having issues, I guess. She thinks this is all just like a big waste of time. Oh, yeah, I know that game. Yeah, like she wants me to give up on my dreams and be a doctor or a lawyer. Oh, well, screw that, man. Jeez. I mean, you're out here trying to be the next Sydney Lamet, and she's just another soapbox critic with a bone to pick. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think we're just growing apart or something. Oh. It doesn't really matter, though. Oh. Well, I don't envy you, Jeremy. But I can sympathize with you. You know, my pops always used to say one thing during troubled times like this. God rest his soul. And what's that? He used to say, you 
can lead a horse to water. But if you want him to stand on his hind legs and dance a jig, you're going to need a whole different kind of horse, kid. <laughs> okay, I'll make sure to keep that in mind, I guess. Hey, hey, uh, Eddie, um, anyways, about the money, like, oh. <laughs> can, can you do PayPal or something? Oh, there it is again. Always the entrepreneur. <laughs> I like you, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm ready, little dudes. Now we wait. For how long? Hmm. I never really got that much info. You know, in my visions, it was always pitch black. The dead of night. You're thinking about something, ain't you? Am I? Oh yeah, I can tell. You got another bug going on up there, don't you? Come on, shoot. Maybe I'm just wondering why you? Hmm. You know, that's a thought that has graced my cranium many a time. I just never came up with a proper conclusion. But I will tell you this. This might surprise you. But I never really amounted to much with my life. I just kind of rode it out, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the family business just wasn't for me. I sure as the sky is blue enjoyed my piece of the pie, though. Right, but what does that have to do with all this alien business? Not really sure. Maybe there's something to be said for a guy who doesn't go out looking for something. Maybe he's got a better chance of finding it. If you catch my drift. What do you think your first question will be when you meet them? Hmm. Um. Anybody here from Uranus? <laughs> Nah, shit. I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably just ask him if they got some Bob Dylan on vinyl, or if there's a sauna or a jacuzzi on the ship somewhere I can take a soak in. Right on, Eddie. I'm never getting paid for this, am I? Holy smokes! Is that a shooting star? Well, I guess if I'm honest, I should never have ended it with Stefania, the old ex-wife. Because, you know, making friends with aliens, exploring new frontiers, all that jazz, you know, it's just about as cool as the Arctic Circle. But, but man, doing it with her, oh, that'd be the bee's pajamas. C'est la vie, I suppose. It's like the old saying goes. Never regret yesterday. Life is in you today. You make your own tomorrow. L. Ron Hubbard. That crazy old coot. <laughs> Guys, what is it? My asthma. 
What the shit, man? Thank you.